Hello and welcome to another homestead video here at Tree Walker Farms. Um, today we're going to go through, um, I did a tapping of the pine tree. And this one is not a sugar, tapping of the pine tree, tapping of the maple tree. This is not a sugar maple, so that's not going to be as sweet, but it's still good. Now, I emptied this last night when I got home. It's about 10 a.m. And last night I got home about midnight, and it was almost full. And look, we're three quarters full again. So this one, we're going to swap out for a bigger jug. Um, I think these will work good. These are the old water jugs I have from the house. So let me set you down and do that. I just put the boards there because this was a little wobbly. Still is. Let's go ahead and just pull that tube out like that. And that should just go in there. Like that. And it looks like I might need to come up with something to hold this up here more than these boards, huh? second here I think we just put a block under there like that that block there that block there just like that okay now I want to show you I don't know if you can see in there or not See it dripping? We're already going to town. Okay. And my fingers are a little sticky. So I've got a kit here. And let's go do the rest. Here's something you don't get to see very often in the front yard. Okay. So we're gonna go. We drill our hole. And we put the tap in. And we take our hammer. Hammer her in. And then just connect the hose. Oh, it's already dripping. Holy mackerel. Yesterday, that did, or when I did the other one two days ago, that didn't happen, but we're already dripping on that. And we'll need to put something there again, just in case the wind kicks. So we got this from when they decided they're going to come trim our tree. So we'll put that there. a smaller one and we'll put it lean up against it to help hold it there you know let's move this one out of the way let's put that up there Okay, there we go. A little bit just to do it in there. And as you can see, she's already dripping. All right, two more to do. Okay, while I'm walking over to the next tree, I thought I would show you what these are. It's just a little plastic piece and then the tube that's uh, hooked onto it. That's all they are. I'll put a link to the inexpensive kit I bought just to see how things work. I think it was under $20, I'm not sure. It might have been 25, but guaranteed under 30. <laughs> Just from Amazon. Okay, here we are. This is my wastelands from tree trimming and tree falling and stuff. Um, I gotta do some more trimming on this tree too yet. Because we gotta get a bunch of these off off the house and that. And over here is actually 
the spot I was telling you that needs replaced up there. So I'm gonna replace that corner the first nice weekend we get. Hopefully this weekend, but I think it's supposed to rain a lot. All right, so quick and easy. I'll let you know I didn't comb my hair today. This one's gonna go up in here. Cover the box. Easy as this. And she's driven. This tree actually had a rope around it, which made this real easy. Look. We're a dripping. Okay, one more tree to go. Okay, I didn't hit record on that when I was doing it. So here's this one. Um, we're dripping down in it too really good. And this one's a smaller tree. So this one I would only do like one tap. The other ones for my ready could do two taps. Sorry about the car. That's why I want to move. You could do two taps. Um, but we're only going to do one because it's a lot bigger. That's one of the trees. Um, the sap is coming out of the trees themselves. You can see on top of here, we're actually getting on here and on my truck and stuff. Um, inexpensive something new to try remember try something new um, keep letting yourself grow you know expand move to where cars aren't flying around in front of you okay thanks for joining me hope to see you on the next one and remember stay live out there and keep on surviving okay so this is a little update it's been 24 hours since i put these in and i just wanted to Kind of, I got it. It's going to be raining today, so I want to kind of tape the top so that we don't get any actual uh, just water in there. But it's hard to see from this angle. I'll go around the other side and show you that we actually have uh, in just 24 hours on a first tap tree, we have almost three quarters of that full. That's four gallons. I said five yesterday, I think. So, almost four gallons. So, probably about three gallons in there. Sorry for the little camera tilt there. Um, which is pretty good. Um, it, my guess is it would have been full. Because these really run good when it freezes at night. Because it pulls all the sap back down into the ground so it doesn't freeze. Then sends it back up out to the leaves and stuff during the day and we didn't get to freezing last night we're not going to tonight which is good because i have to change some of these out tomorrow probably and at this rate i don't know how i'm going to keep up with it so which is a good problem so we'll see thanks for joining me again see you on the next one